tutorial, we're going to modify the page title, change heading, and insert some text into our document. The title of a web page is displayed in the browser's title bar. Page titles are one of the elements used by search engines to index and rank various websites. So it's always important to change Dreamweaver's default page title. And that default page title, as you can see up here in the title, is Untitled Document and phrase it to something that describes that specific web page. So for this particular tutorial, we're going to type in something pertaining to Green Start. So we're going to say, get a Green Start with Meridian Green Start. Once you've typed in your title, all you want to do is hit Enter or Return. Now we're going to change our headings. And Dreamweaver CSS layouts are populated by sample headings, body text, and colors. Placeholder headings and text help you visualize the way that this, your page will appear when it's finalized. So changing the placeholder is actually very simple. The placeholder we want to change right now is where it says instructions, and you just double click, and then you type over it to replace it. And we're going to type it's easy. Being green with green start. And there you have your heading. With every change you make, you want to remember to save. So I'm going to do this by clicking Control S. And since I'm a Windows user, if you're a Mac user, it'll be Command S. And now we're going to start inserting text. And you can change paragraph text as easily as I just showed you how to change the heading. We can enter the text in manually, but I'm going to show you the way that Dreamweaver also allows you to insert text from Microsoft Word. So I'm going to choose the Design button to see only the Design view. Then I'm going to, the Files panel is already showing over here for me, but if it does not, for you, you would just go to Window, Files. And the file that I'm going to open up is the Word file, Easy Green. It's a rich text format file. And now our file is opened in Microsoft Word. We're going to take and collect all of this text and control C to copy that to the clipboard. We want this to go back into Dreamweaver. We're going to take and select all the text in the main content area. And then we're going to paste that text from Word on top of it by hitting control V or command V if you're a Mac user. Now we need to put some spacing in there, so we're going to go back and do our split code view. Okay, before we do anything else, I want you to notice that in our code, before the beginning of the text we copied over, you'll notice the P tag, that's the paragraph tag. This is the way that Dreamweaver has formatted this text that when it came in from Word. Also, you'll notice here in the design view that it doesn't look like it did in the Word document. So sometimes we have to go in and manually do things ourselves. Since you see that the BR, this is a line break tag, that means there's only one line. It doesn't format it any further. So we need to go in and put in one more line break after each one of these paragraphs. One way to do this is by going in the design and clicking Shift Enter. And it also puts the BR tag in the code for us. We can go to the end of a sentence in the code view and begin with our BR tags ourselves. Do that for the last one. And if you click refresh in your properties toolbar, you can notice that this is formatted the correct way that we want it now. And let's go ahead and save this. Control S to save. And the last thing we're going to do is insert text down at the bottom in our footer. We're going to put in copyright 2011 Meridian Green Start, comma, all rights reserved. And that's how you put in text for just manually in your footer. The only other thing we need to do at this point is save our work. So again, we can go to File, Save, or Control S for Windows users, Command S if you're a Mac user. And this finalizes this particular tutorial.